Google Slides gives you the ability to change the background of your slides. This is a really nice option because it affords you the opportunity to change the background to maybe a better color scheme or an image that you wanna put in the background for students to not be able to move around. So in order to change my background color or add an image in as my background, I come right to background up here and I select change background. If I don't wanna do it that way, I can select the slide that I want this to happen on and right click right there and do change background, but it brings me right back to the same menu. So whether you use the tool up here or whether you right click on a slide, personal preference. From here, I'm able to choose an image to insert, but I'm gonna start with the color so you can choose a color. So you have the option to just do a solid color, like let's say I select orange from the basic colors that Google gives me. It will also give me a color scheme that goes along with whatever theme I've chosen. So I'm just gonna select this orange one and you can see that it populates the entire background orange. So I'm gonna to come to a new slide and do change background again. And you also have the option to do a custom color. If I do a custom color, I need the hex code or I can drag this to wherever I want. So if I want a specific red, I can put that in there and say, okay. And now it's that specific red that I chose. So another option to do would be to select a background and choose an image. So Google gives you a couple different options. I can drag and drop a file I have on my laptop. I can browse from my laptop. I could go right to my camera mode by URL if I have a Google image in my Photos app or from Google Drive or Google Image Search. So the easiest one is a Google Image Search. So let's say I wanted a sunflower. It'll give me all kinds of sunflowers that I could populate as my background. Click on the picture to select, select insert, and then I select done. Now the one thing I want to mention when you insert images is sometimes because it has to fit whatever page setup you have, it might skew what the picture looks like or make it look stretched out and also color. So it's going to be very difficult to find a color to really type over all of this. So probably black will be my best option, but it might be hard on the eyes for others who are viewing. Doing background images as still photos of a PDF or something so kids can do fill in the blank things or drag and drop activities is a great idea to use this background image method.